Hey everybody, Ann here. I've had my coffee hours ago. I wasn't going to do a video today because it's raining and there's not a lot going on. I'm just doing some dishes and organizing and cleaning and whatnot. <laughs> but I did my normal walk around my property this morning and I found something amazing. See that? Look at those mushrooms. Look at those mushrooms. Not just here. I've got more over here. Get a good look at them. And I've got more over here. And here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see these. Oh, this is a beautiful patch. More here. There's a couple more there. Look at over at this tree. I'm trying not to shake too badly. Two more clusters here. These are past their prime. Uh, can you see those? Look at that beautiful cluster. Oh, there's that too. I'm not sure what that is. I'll figure that out later. Another cluster over here. Of the same kind of mushroom. Another cluster right here. Yep, those might be a little too old. Man, I have got these everywhere. Another cluster here, two clusters, one there, and another small one. Come on up right there. I've got them in so many different places all over my property that I am definitely going to harvest a few. I am 99.999% sure I know what they are. Um, I'm going to get a spore print just to be sure, but I'm going to go ahead and harvest a couple bunches so that you can kind of get a good idea what they look like underneath and then I'm going to tell you what they are. I'm going to start with this cluster. I'm going to let these grow a little bit more. Um, you'll see that they grow in a big cluster and that's what they look like underneath. So let me grab a couple more clusters. This looks like a good cluster. I'm going to get that one too. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I might as well get these while I'm at it before they go past their prime. Oh my gosh, there's just so many of them. Whoops. I'll clean these up a little bit better later. Put them in my brown paper bag. Let me grab these. Oops, two clusters. See how they all kind of grow together? Look at that. Look at that. Grab this one too. They're plentiful. Oh my goodness. Particularly nice bunches. So I'm definitely going to get these. Oh yeah. I can't believe how many there are. There are just so many. <laughs> yeah, let me clean that off before I put it in the bag. Those are past their prime, so I'm just going to leave them for now. I will probably pull them and get rid of them later. But this is the most beautiful, beautiful bunch. And I'm going to get that too, but I want to do it with two hands because I don't want to break it up. Look at all of those mushrooms. And I didn't even harvest all of them. There's quite a few still left out there. Some of these on this side I'm going to go through because I think some of them may be past their prime. But I don't know how much all this weighs. What I'm going to do is get a spore print just to make absolutely 100% sure that these are what I think they are. Look at that, you guys. Waiting for the spore print. And if it comes out like I hope it does, then I have found a bounty of beautiful, delicious edible mushrooms. As I'm going through these mushrooms, there's a few points I want you to see. First of all, there is the cap, and it has very fine little brownish blackish hairs on it. There's no ring on it. There's no ring on this particular mushroom, but the stem, well the gills, let's get a good picture of the gills. There we go. These are what the gills look like, and they are attached to the stem, and they are slightly decurrent. Let's see if I can find another one where you can see how the gills attach to the stem so you can see what I mean. Okay, see how those gills are attached to the stem? 
it keeps getting out of focus and they are slightly going down not very far but very slightly going down the stem that's decurrent I guess they call it oh no I'll have to look it up and make sure but the that my point is is the gills are attached and they go slightly down the stem that way the stem is brown uh, I mean like tannish whitish got little brownish hairs on it and the flesh I already broke one open the flesh is white so that is a good sign out of all those mushrooms this is what I ended up with. I took the stems off of them. I got most of the dirt off. A little bit of dirt ain't going to hurt me. Got the bugs out. There really weren't much bugs in there because these are all pretty fresh. But the ones that I didn't use, they're like, like this one. See how the flesh is white and the center is already starting to rot out? Didn't use that. Any of them where the gills were starting to turn, um, if they were too mushy and they, they didn't hold up under me, you know, doing this to them to try and get the dirt out. I didn't use them. Um, some of them, yeah, just starting to crack. So I didn't use any of those. A lot of people will, um, uh, yeah, that one didn't seem worth it to me. Um, a lot of people will save the stems and boil them up uh, and use them in a stock. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really needing a stock right now and I don't I'm not prepared to do a vegetable stock right now, but this is what I got. So I'm not going to eat them until I get the spore print back. And hopefully after all this time, the spore print will be done. So let's go take a look at that. And now for the moment of truth. I did this one on a white background just to see. Nope, you really can't see anything. Um, let's put that one out of the way. Now let's open this. Huh. This is on my actual mushroom book. Probably not a good idea. I don't know if it's going to work on this shiny background, but we'll see. Um, that one didn't really leave a print at all. Nope. I might not have pressed down on those enough. So let's see this one. Yep. It's white. A white spore print. There's one more check I'm going to do. See this book here? Well, in, on the inside it's got a green cover. So let me let me try and open this book up so I can take those mushrooms off and see what the color is. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. White! White spore print. See the little gills? Those are the little spores that deposit on to the book. That one didn't leave one because I don't think I had it pressed down good enough. Looks like the older ones. Uh, are the ones you should do the spore print with, but they're white, so you know what these are? These are ringless honey mushrooms. I'm going to throw up a photo from probably Wikipedia or somewhere, and they are absolutely edible, and I am going to eat them. Oh my gosh, everybody all at once, I love it. Um, so yeah, ringless honey mushrooms, I've got them all over the place, and I'm sure they're in my neighbor's yards as well, and I'm going to eat some. I'm Hey, Campy. Um, I'm going to eat just a few at first just to see if they make me sick because they say that some people can't tolerate uh, the honey mushroom very well, but I've eaten so many mushrooms, I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, I don't know how I'm going to cook them. I'm going to store them in a paper bag until I decide. They will probably be okay until tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still learning about honey mushrooms. <laughs> I'm still learning about honey mushrooms, so I'm not really sure. Um, they say that you can dehydrate them as well. So, um, yeah, I am blessed once again by a mushroom bounty, and I'm so thrilled. So, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with all these honey mushrooms. First, what I'm going to do is cook up just a few of them because um, I want to make sure that I tolerate them well. Some people can't. Some people can tolerate them just cooking them just for a little while, but they say that you need to cook these mushrooms a little bit longer than other mushrooms, so I'm going to do that and eat a few of them and see how I do before I cook up a big dish. And honestly, when I'm getting used to a mushroom, I like to just basically saute them, add some greens, some other vegetables, whatever, and um, put it over pasta. So that's what I'm going to do if I don't get sick from eating them today. So I hope they'll keep till tomorrow. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, so I'll let you know in the next video. 
If they killed me, if you don't see me for a few days, you know I made a big mistake, but I don't think I'm making a mistake. So, uh, I'll let you know in the next video how I do. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one